Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. This is going to be my February favorites. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Vicky, and I change my hair color every five days, so you probably won't recognize me next time you see a video from me. This wig, first of all, is a wig that is super old. Um, I've had this wig for about two years now, I think. I got this wig in... Uh, I want to say summer 2015 so this wig is quite old I actually just dug it up and revived it I put some pink dye in her and this is how she turned out it was blonde before I dyed it it was an ash blonde so that's why the color took so well and showed up like this really pretty rose color but I did use um, the rose box dye by ion color brilliance um, from Sally's Beauty Supply so if you guys were wondering what I used Oh, there you go. I will put the color of the hair in the description box. It didn't come out super, super pink because I diluted it with some conditioner, um, with my favorite conditioner. And I'm gonna be talking about my favorite conditioner right now. So first thing I wanna talk about is this conditioner. I actually received these products. Um, this was for my Carol's Daughter video that I did, which I've never tried Carol's Daughter products. I've heard about Carol's Daughter a million times, but I've never actually tried it myself. Um, but this is my first time trying it and I fell in love with it. I love the line. Um, I have the Almond Milk Daily Damage Repair line and I really like these products. Specifically the conditioner. I really like the conditioner um, and the leave-in conditioner. I use those two religiously on my real hair and I love it. Um, I'm giving my real hair a little bit of a break because she's just getting on my nerves right now and going through this weird too long to be a pixie cut, too short to be a bob face. So I'm kind of giving her a break right now. That's why I'm doing the wigs again because I'm not sure if I wanna keep growing my hair out or if I wanna cut it. Um, but yeah, I love this conditioner and shampoo and like the whole line is amazing. So if you guys are looking for a shampoo conditioner to try, this is a good one. I love Kiehl's. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Kiehl's products. I've been using Kiehl's for a couple years now and Kiehl's products are some of my favorite high-end skincare products if you guys are familiar with the kind of skincare that I like I do like bougie skincare I like luxury skincare because I feel like it works better than drugstore uh, affordable skincare now don't get me wrong there are some really good drugstore affordable brands out there that work really well however I feel like if I'm gonna use something to treat my face like a serum or something like that I'm going to go for a more high-end one because serums usually have active ingredients and active ingredients are not cheap to put in products because they don't last on the shelves as long. So you end up spending a little bit more for a serum than you would just a regular face wash or whatever. I love Kiehl's serums. They have really, really good serums. One of my favorites right now is the Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate and this has quinoa husk extract in it and it's supposed to help accelerate surface skin cell turnover to reveal fresher new radiant skin visibly evening skin tone and refining the feel of rough, rough texture over time that's a mouthful but it does all of those things and I, need, I needed to read that to you so that you guys can understand that that's what it's supposed to do um, it helps to even out your texture and your skin tone you guys know I deal with a lot of post acne probs so basically I, I deal with hyperpigmentation and rough patches on my skin from breakouts and if you haven't noticed my skin looking baby smooth it's been looking like I know I have on makeup right now but even when I do have on makeup sometimes you can see the texture in my skin um, especially if I've had breakouts or if my skin is kind of patchy and dry but this has helped out a lot, especially since it's winter time, my skin's a little bit more dry. I like to use um, smoothing, smoothing serums because they really do help to smooth out my skin and give me that really smooth, poreless look. That helps a lot with the application of my makeup overall, how my makeup stays on, how it wears throughout the day. Even when I get oily, I don't look like patchy and weird. It just looks like shine. Um, and I'd rather it just be shine than galaxy, stars, you know, supernovas on my face. This. I use it at night and it works wonders. I've also been following up with the uh, Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. It has Manuka honey and ginseng root in it um, and it's supposed to help smooth your skin as well and provide radiance. So it's just a face cream. I don't know. I didn't think I would really like this that much because face creams to me, 
they tend to be kind of redundant. It's like, how much more can you do with a face cream, right? But I have found Kiehl's creams to be really well for the wintertime for me personally, because in the wintertime, my skin is a lot more dry than usual. I'm an oily skin girl, so when I don't have, um, when, I, when my skin isn't soft, it, it feels weird to me because I'm so oily normally. So um, to have drier skin is weird, so I do whatever I can to prevent that. I love this cream. But yeah, I, this makes me feel amazing. It really does help to smooth out your skin and make it feel really soft. Too Faced launched their whole Sweet Peach collection at the end of the year. And I originally bought the Sweet Peach palette uh, in the springtime when it first launched. And I wasn't really feeling it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I bought this palette and I didn't use it. Like, I used it the first time in that one video. I used it again and then I kind of stopped using it and moved on to some of this other stuff that I liked. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, oh, it smells so good. And they also released the lip oils, the glow palette, and the Papa Don't Peach blush, which is a blush that was already in the permanent line, but they revamped it to go with the Sweet Peach collection. I bought the blush and the lip oils to try them out, and I love them. Of course, because they smell like peaches, but I've been wearing this blush nonstop since I bought it. I'm wearing it today. It gives a nice, like, rosiness a little bit of a rosiness but it's more of a highlighter on me I use it to highlight my cheeks because I find that when I highlight my cheeks it brings light to the center of my face so it makes me look more like it makes me look like I have cheeks because I don't really have cheeks like my cheeks are really small but I like to make it make my face look more round so it kind of gives me like that plumpness to my face a little bit. The lip oils are really good too. I wear these, I keep these in my purse um, because I wear these a lot and they smell really good. They taste like peaches, so that's a plus, but they do keep my lips moisturized. It's kind of like a gloss. It's more of a lip gloss than a lip oil, I would say. Um, the ones that I have is Papa Don't Peach and I also have um, another one. I don't remember the name of it, but it's in my other purse. This is the only palette that I took with me to Dubai and I use this to do all of my eye looks. Um, I specifically like the peachy shades in here, um, but there are some good dark shades to do a smoky eye, so it is a versatile palette. Um, so that's pretty much it for my favorites. Um, I'm going to move on to my haul because I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought. Now I'm not going to talk about stuff that I got sent to me, I'm not going to talk about PR stuff. So if you guys want to see a PR haul showing you guys like the PR stuff that I got, like this video so I'll know to do a PR haul for you guys. I get sent stuff to, to show you guys so it's not like I'm like, look what I got, you know what I mean? Um, so if you want to see a PR haul, let me know. So I got some stuff online from Sephora. You know I love shopping online. I use like all my cash back stuff. Like I love Ebates. Um, if you guys don't know about Ebates, I've talked about Ebates multiple times before. Um, but Ebates is amazing for people who shop online like me because you get cash back on your purchases and sometimes they have like double cash back deals and things like that. Yeah, if you sign up for Ebates and you put the little like widget into your browser, it'll let you know whenever you can use the cashback deals on whatever site you're on. So it works for everything. It works for Sephora, it works for Macy's, it works for Nordstrom, it works for travel. Like when I buy my Expedia tickets and stuff like that, it works for travel. So I get cash back on my travel. Like I get cash back on everything. Like I'm not playing with y'all. So that's why I love to shop online. So I ordered some things on Sephora that I will show you guys now. I originally did this order because I wanted to get the Nicole Guerrero palette, which was available early on the site. Um, and they had it available on Sunday, so I ordered it on Sunday. I didn't get it until Thursday, and it's Friday today. So yeah, I didn't get it till yesterday, but I wanted to unbox it and show you guys the first look. I haven't opened it. I wanted to show you guys first. If you guys don't know, Nicole Guerrero did a um, collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills. She did her own glow kit. It's called the Nicole Glow Kit. Like, I mean, Nicole's already been doing it big. She's already got her Nail Her collaboration. She's got her Eye Lure Lashes collaboration. She's got a Bellamy collaboration. She has tons of collaborations. But this one is really big because it's a glow kit, right? We all love glow kits. And this one's big because it's in Sephora. So anytime you're in Sephora, you're big time. I'm so excited about this. So this is the palette. This is the glow kit and it's beautiful. And I specifically did not put a highlighter on in this video so I could show you guys 
the magic. So I'm gonna use one, four, three. <laughs> and we're gonna see how this shows up on me. Yes! I'm gonna use Daydream on top of that, a little bit of Daydream on the rosy apple part of my cheek. Ooh. I mean, I'm not really shocked at this. Like, I'm not shocked at all because I know how Anastasia does with their with their glow kits. Like, it's not like this is anything new. We know the glow kits are amazing, but I bought this specifically to support Nicole because I love Nicole. I've been watching Big Sis since um, 2011, I think, 2010, 2011. I've been watching her for a long time. I love her. She's so real and down to earth. Like. Like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying in my place in Tampa. I'm not about that Hollywood life. You know what I mean? This cognac, 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 pore perfecting sponge for combination oily skin types. This is a cleansing sponge with bamboo charcoal in it. I wanted to get this to compare it to the Foreo to see if it was like a low budget version of a sonic cleansing device because I've heard that it really does help to uh, get stuff out of your pores. And I don't really necessarily need that a lot, but I did want to try it because I've heard about it. This is what the sponge looks like. It looks like this. And it, you just use it to wash your face. So I'm going to try that. Let me know if you tried this again. Let me know if you like it. I got this serum. Now you guys are going to like be so mad at me because I keep buying these expensive skincare. But I love skincare. I can't not buy skincare. C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. And it says that this is for daytime. So I don't have any daytime skincare. Um, I pretty much just wake up and I rinse my face with water and I put on um, a moisturizer and a sunscreen and I leave the house, right? Um, I pretty much don't do like everyday like face washing deep cleansing type stuff because I feel like that strips the oils and stuff away from my skin and it doesn't help my skin throughout the day. My face gets drier and all of that. Um, but I did want something that was going to help my skin throughout the day because I do notice that my skin is not, it doesn't feel as good as it does at night when I'm going to bed because I slather on all of these moisturizing, hydrating serums and things like that. So I decided to get something that was good for daytime that I can wear underneath my, my foundation and all of that that'll kind of help my skin to feel hydrated, rejuvenated, um, you know, feel good throughout the day. And so this is a day serum. It has vitamin C in it. Vitamin C is really good for your skin, especially if you have dark spots. So this has 15% vitamin C in it and pumpkin ferment extract. This is an expensive serum. I believe it was $80, $70 or $80. I had a gift card, so don't judge me. I had a gift card. I wanted to use it on something expensive, so I got something expensive. So I've always wanted to try Drunk Elephant stuff, and this is what I got. Um, so I'm going to let you guys know if this is worth the $80 that I spent for this. Uh, super potent vitamin C serum packed with powerful antioxidant complex essential nutrients, fruit enzymes, and anti-aging chronopeptide that transforms into vitamin D. This formulation works synerg syner synergistically to firm and brighten skin while preventing and correcting photo damage and aging. So I like the way that this feels. I actually took it out of the box and used it today because I couldn't, I couldn't wait to use it. So when I took this out of the box, and I squirt it in my hand. I hate the word squirt. I pumped it into my hand and applied it to my face and then I put my Benefit Dream Screen which has SPF 45 in it um, because you have to use a sunscreen when you're using anything that helps lighten dark spots or anything like that to brighten your skin. You have to use sunscreen because it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. I was literally, like when I went to go get my nails done today, I was like driving and I accidentally like brushed my face and I touched my face and I was like, my face has never felt softer. Never felt softer, oh my goodness. Like this stuff immediately made my skin feel extremely soft. Like softer than anything I've ever felt before. It, it's just magical. It is magical. Now this is another product that's by a YouTube family, not a YouTuber. Um, if you guys know um, Farah Dukai, I love Farah Dukai. I've been following her for a really long time as well. Her husband actually developed this oil. Now this is the infamous Instagram oil that everybody uses in their Instagram tutorials. You guys see this. They take some of this and they drop it onto their beauty blender or in their 
makeup products or whatever and it's supposed to make your makeup go on buttery smooth and glorious and make you magically delicious I got this rose I I've been wanting to get the rose gold elixir for a long time ever since I've seen people using it I want to know if it actually works and I wanted to support Farah um, and her husband because I've been following them for a long time and I think it's really dope that they have a product that's in Sephora now. Like it was cool that they had the product and they had started their own business or whatever, or he had started his own product or whatever. Um, but getting it into Sephora is a huge deal. So congratulations to them. Power couples on the move, just saying. So I got that. I also got this Bosha White white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray I wanted to try this um, because I've seen Jackie Ina using it as well and I wanted to see how it worked for me because I love mattifying sprays um, even though I'm not really too into mattifying products right now because it is still the winter time and it's cold and I just don't have time to have dry face out here um, but I do like my skin to be a little bit more matte I don't really want my face to be shiny um, I do like hydration, but I also like to balance it with a little bit of matte too. So I got this um, in, in hopes that it would kind of give me that balance, you know what I mean? On to stuff that I got from Walgreens. So I went to Walgreens two days ago and I got some stuff because I wanted to basically re-up on things that I love. So I got the breakfast smoothie, um, which is my favorite body scrub ever. I didn't know that they actually put Soap and Glory back into Walgreens because before they used to have it at Target and they took it out of Target, put it in Sephora, and they took it out of Sephora, put it in Ulta. It's still at Ulta, but now they have it back in Target and back at Walgreens. So I went to Walgreens and I got some stuff because I'm out of my scrub. I went through four of these already. This is my first time trying the Righteous Butter Body Lotion. I like the white, the Righteous Butter Body butter but it runs out so fast I feel like pumping it might help me to not use so much so I got the lotion instead I'm sure it'll work just as good though I love soap and glory um I love their face wash I love their body wash I love their scrubs everything soap and glory is amazing so you guys should definitely check it out at Walgreens um I also got this got to be products so I got the got to be um ultra glued gel and the got to be spray and I'm going to use these on my hair when I wear my wigs. I've seen people using these and they say that they work really, really well to help your wigs not fly off and move and shift throughout the day. So I thought that I would try them out. Let me know if you guys like these products, which ones you like better, what you think about it, does it rip your edges out, do you have to reapply it a lot, does it really work like they say it does, does it make you look shiny in this area so it doesn't look realistic. Like I really want to know the whole shebang. Cause I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared, but I never usually glue my wigs down. So gluing this is gluing is a new thing for me. So I want to make sure that it's the right thing. I also got this Dream Cushion foundation. I've heard a lot of good things about the Maybelline Dream Cushion, and I wanted to try it for myself. So I will let you guys know what I think about this. Also, I'm thinking about bringing back my Foundation Fridays. So if you guys want to see Foundation Fridays, let me know. I have a lot of new drugstore foundations that I want to kind of compare and contrast. So if this is something that you want to see, let me know. Another thing that I re-upped on was the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Bar Soap. I use this bar soap as opposed to the liquid soap to wash my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders. Um, it's important that you wash your beauty blender every single day. If you haven't watched Aaliyah J talk about that, she's out of it. Okay, and ever since I watched that video, I'm like, you know what, Aaliyah? You right. So I wash my beauty blender every day now and I use the bar soap to do so. I just leave this in a dish, a little soap dish by my sink and I go to my sink and I rub it, rub my beauty blender all over to get all the soap in there and then I wring it out under warm water. Boom. 10 seconds and your beauty blender is clean. So this is a really good bar soap for that. Of course you can use whatever bar soap you like. I prefer these because they smell good, they're all natural and they won't break my skin out. So I know they're going to be good for my beauty blender as well. Um, and they get my beauty blender really, really clean. Actually, Dr. Bronner soap is magical. I'm thinking about making a video about all the uses, all the ways that I've used Dr. Bronner soap because it really is the magic soap. So, um, that is it for my favorite slash haul. I'm sorry y'all, it got dark, but I am so slow. Like, I move so slow. It took me forever to get ready today. So that's why it's like super dark. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Let me know that you like videos from me and that you want to see more of them. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay?